Hey guys, and it's Ben, and welcome back to another Bucket Plone Tutorial, episode 75 of the Bucket Plone Tutorial series. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Today, we're looking at toggling things. So, like, I've been asked this a lot, like, how would I toggle, like, for the example, the last plugin, uh, double jump. So, if they, like, did a command, they could toggle on double jump. And if they did another command, they could toggle off double jump. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a command which, like, toggles when a player does a command, it's going to say one thing. And then when they do another command, it's going to set the same command. It does the, the, the same thing. So they do a command, it tells them one thing. So like on or like toggled on. And they do another command and then it toggles it off. So uh, first of all, we want to make a, it doesn't really matter what, you know, uh, visibility thing, user, public or private or whatever. Um, we need to make a list which is going to contain strings. And this is going to be toggled or toggled. <laughs> and this is equal to a new array list string type string with the type string like so import list from java.util.list and a list from java.util.list or whatever so now make your on command so control space and then find on command and remove the at override and everything inside and then we just want to return false for now so what we want to do is we want to <coughs> check what the command is first of all. So we're going to have the command being so, like, if command label equals ignore case toggle, uh, then we're going to do whatever inside these braces. First, we want to check if there's a sender as a player. So, if sender, if sender is an instance of player, like so, and then we want to invert this to so put an exclamation mark at the front and then surround the rest of it in brackets. So, if the sender is not a player, then we're going to send the sender a message. So, sender.send message in red. So chat color dot red plus you must be a player to use this command like so and then just return false so it's going to break out of the uh, the method so if the sender isn't a player if the sender's like a console then we're just going to break out this and we're not going to carry on so sorry about that got a phone call okay right anyway so now what we want to do is we want to check if the player is already in this this list. So to do that, we just say if if toggled uh, toggled dot contains the uh, the player's name. But first we need to make the player. <laughs> so player player equals brackets player sender, and we know it's a player because if it's not a player, we're cancelling out, we're returning out of this. So if it contains the player's name, so player dot get name, then we're going to send them a message. So player player <laughs> dot send message. Um, so that they're already in this, so we're going to say taken out of toggle, like so. And then we can just get this toggled variable, so toggled and remove the player, player's name. The reason we don't store player as an object in there is because if you just store the object player, it can cause memory leaks and stuff, so we store it as a string instead, so it, it removes that chance of memory leaks. And then we just want to return true, because what has happened is what we want to happen. So if toggle contains the player, then we've done all of this and we've returned out. So we don't need to put an if statement to put if the player, if toggle doesn't contain the player. And that's because if it does contain the player, then it's never gonna go further than this line of code. It's never gonna go further than line 28. So line 30 is gonna be when the toggled definitely doesn't contain the player. So to do that, we now gonna just say player dot send message uh, put into toggle or something like that and then toggled dot add player dot get name like so and then just return true like so so this is actually it so basically if you were to use this in any other thing you would you would check if the play if toggled if toggled like contained the player name and if it did then you would do whatever you want and then you'd remove them from it and then whenever you wanted it to do it again you would then add them into the toggled list so Let's make our plugin.yml, so plugin.yml, and just gonna copy some stuff from another one. Okay, so in here we would just want toggle, and then description is gonna be toggle. So come to the Beast Bucket YouTube dot toggle, and the name of our plugin is going to be toggle, like so. So that is our plugin, and I'll see you guys in the game. Okay, so we're in the game, and if I do slash toggle, so first of all, we're not going to be in the toggle loop, first of all. So if I'm not in the toggle loop, it's going to put us in the toggle loop. 
So we've been put in toggle, not loop, toggle list. So we've been put into toggle, stuff like that. Um, so now if I do slash toggle again, it's going to take me out of the toggle. So I can keep on doing this, and it's just going to toggle me in and out of the toggle. So that is how we do toggle stuff in the bucket. Obviously, you could then save this um, toggle into a file. Um, I don't know what tutorial that was, but yeah, I did a tutorial on how to save, how to save things. It was the notepad one. That's what it was. It was notepad. How to save it into a file and then load it from a file if you really wanted to to keep this this list. So thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any uh, suggestions, post them in the comments below or email me at ben at the .com. as well if you have any problems with any of plugins, email me at ben at the .com. You can always head over to the .com and go to the contact me form to contact me directly through there mm -hmm. or request a plugin from the contact or the, the the whatever bit, you know, the bit where you can request plugins. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.